Hey there, everybody. It's Friday. What's going on? It's Friday, March 12th, 2021. Let's talk about yesterday, Thursday, March 11th, 2021. We had 50 games in here when it was all said and done. I think the Duke game got postponed, canceled, uncontested. I'm seeing weird terms describing what happens to games that haven't been played. I don't know what's happening. College basketball is quite interesting here as we roll into March Madness this weekend. Looks like it was a pretty good day. I'm in a state where I didn't bet. Bad on the spread up top here, but great on the wins. Here's an away team that loses. Although the home and away, I think, doesn't mean anything because there's there's neutral sites, I guess, or whatever, where they're playing at. I don't know, but I've heard. Now, here's something I want to talk about. So even though there's a 34 and 16 day, spread's terrible. Spread's awful. It's really weird. Something's going on with the formulas. I, I mean, to see all these loses on the projected score side is weird. Here's something else. Tons of losses down here with margins below 5%. Supposedly home and away doesn't mean anything, so this doesn't really matter. So what's going on here? This is symptomatic of a issue in the power strength calculation. And what I'm going to do before the tournament, especially if we see another day like this today where down here it's really ugly with losses, is I'm going to figure out well, what is causing this five for, under 5% margin that's making it wrong, right? And, you know, let's go with one of the more drastic ones of bad team, bad team, good team, Virginia Tech and North Carolina. Let's, let's just look. I'll, I'll show you what I'm going to end up doing to analyze how to fix this. So all these losses in the middle here, Something's making something 3%, making it bad. Let's try this game where we picked an underdog, Idaho State and Montana State. Okay, Idaho State and Montana State. So here's what we're going to do. is We're going to look for Idaho State and Montana State only. Okay, and we're going to compare these two teams in all of their categories. Idaho State and Montana State. Do, 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 do. Taking the time to do this because it's kind of important because you can totally do this yourself and, um, and put, put forth a similar effort because I'll show you, show you what we're going to do here in a second. Both in the Big Sky Conference, we got this as a really close game and we're favoring Idaho State, but it looks like Montana State won this game by eight points, right? So home and away doesn't mean anything. So why, why did that happen? Well, in what categories... It, are we waiting where Idaho State is better than Montana State? And usually I have colors going on all this stuff, but I guess I don't. So we want to look at where, where Montana State is better than Idaho State because we got this wrong. So win percentage, Montana's better. Wins, they're not better. Losses, they are better. Points, they're a lot better. How about that? Points, they have, they're seven points more, but they also give up more. Their margin of victory is lower. Strength of schedule is about the same. Their offensive rating is a lot better, but their defensive rating is worse. So here's a team that overpowered a little bit with offense, and we weren't waiting offense enough, it seems, in, in that type of game. So let me show you how we would fix that. We can look at the distribution of all of our percentages, and we can say we do have a pretty good offensive rating. Our defense is here, defensive SOS. How about we lower this a little bit? Or actually, hold on a second. I take it back. I want to go back and talk about something for a second. So these are the games we are missing, right? But we're not missing these games. And our margin of victory it's kind of distributed all over the place. It's not, it's not weighted like this. So I don't want to totally destroy things down here because there's a reason why these teams are losing. There's, there's some category that doesn't matter as much in a close game between bad teams that matters more in a good game between good teams. And so I'm, I'm hesitant actually to alter this distribution because I know that when it comes to good teams playing good teams, this is probably the way to go. And so I don't want to totally lop off defensive like SRS, but let's do that anyway. Let's just mess around. Let's go crazy. 
Strength of schedule, margin of victory, their number of wins, no. Their win-loss percentage, I'm going to bump that up because we're now deeper into the season. And mm, don't care about that as much. Where, what was it? Offensive points, points per game average. Let's give that 13. All right, so we're back up to 100 again. Let's now look at the comparisons between those two teams and the way that we are going to program that in here. So we're going to make an alteration. We're going to make an alteration for yesterday to now include this new formula where we're going to change around the percentages and we're going to make them dynamic. So this is how we're going to figure out, do a little formula where we look up the team and we say, well, what is this new power percentage that we're dynamically creating as we change our distribution of variables? We're going to place it there for everybody. So now we've just changed everything retroactively. So we've kind of changed our results. So the game that I just talked about, which was this game right here, which has us predicting a margin of 3% for Idaho State, this is going to change and it's going to move. Let's see what happens. Idaho State is now over here. Yay, we got it right. And you can see the wins just changed. And all of a sudden we went 39 to 11 and only 24 and 26. And the distribution still looks good. All the wins up top are still here. And this just looks better down here. I mean, basically, this is what it looked like before. 34 and 16 changes to 39 and 11. And that's not a change in home bump at all. That's just a change in the distribution of percentages because as the season progressed, we realized that this needs to change. So I'm going to run some programs and tests to figure out what an optimal percentage is. But this is a, this is a whole crazy thing that has to be involved with the March Madness bracket and stuff. And I'll talk about that in, in other videos. So... Anyway, so we just changed that. That's pretty awesome. Um, okay, so let's, let's talk about today. Let's talk about Friday already, now that we looked at yesterday. So today, with our new percentages, which I hadn't looked at before, and I'm glad we did, because I think it will probably yield something better, we can look at the 30 games that we have in here today. Let's see if we can find anything. See if we can find anything good. Um couple underdogs. USC against Colorado we like. I was just messing around with this. That gives them a margin of one point. So tiny, 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 tiny margins though. Really close games. So I don't know about that. Is there, is there any good pick in here? I don't want to do a long video. Got to get on the road. I don't know what city I'm going to be in today. <laughs> I'm going to figure this out. There might be a snow chains problem. We're going to figure out where I'm going. Um, all right. Uh, Louisiana State at home against Ole Miss. Minus 124. I don't know. Don't ever listen to me. How do you read this board? Oh, yes. Sort this thing by spread cover. We're going to be talking about games with spreads, descending by spread cover plus. And find something that doesn't have a huge point spread. Not 13, not 18. Six, of, six and a half is getting better. That's Southern Utah against Montana State. Here's a pretty big margin. We're predicting they cover that by five. Something like that. Something like this. What, yeah, this Louisiana State Mississippi, it likes marginally 8%, but they're a pretty strong team. Um, should be a good game. A lot of cool stuff. All right, so this this is Friday, guys. Uh, subscribe. For, I'm going to put new prices and stuff up. I don't know. I'll be updating it. I'm running around with a million things to do. So good luck, everyone. May all your picks be winning.